on the Digital Pioneer panel this morning, uh, Nick Hyam, who was our chair, was trying to get us to look back 10 years, look at some of the things that have shaped the industry, where we were today, and the even bigger question of where we're going in 10 years' time. Well, the industry I come from, I'm a television producer by background, and digital is a major part of our future. We've seen that uh, audiences to television are fragmenting, people are watching content more on demand through the growth of iPlayer and video on demand services. And the combination of video, text, pictures, audio on publisher sites is becoming much more important as video becomes more affordable. And I think we've got to find a model where we can get good quality content uh, funded uh, and to a mass market in a market that's heavily fragmented isn't necessarily brand loyal anymore. Uh, they go to where other people congregate, maybe social networks or YouTube, more so than the traditional big publishing brands. Well, the most important uh, area for the industry to focus on in the next 10 years is really to get to grips with uh, the changes in audience behaviour and trying to match that to advertiser behaviour. It's the thing that media has always done. But I do sense from the discussions we had on the panel that uh, perhaps the advertisers are behind the consumers and the media owners are behind the advertisers. So the co consumers are setting the pace today, whilst maybe in the past the media owners were setting the pace. And that's a major change for the next five to ten years. And hence we now have to understand the consumer in minute detail and what they're doing and possibly take more regard and understand the advertiser who are sort of following them as well. Well, there, are, there is a financial crisis either looming or loomed or we're in the middle of the eye of the storm. But I think uh, another point on the panel today that was discussed is that online advertising is still growing at quite a pace in the UK. Uh, Enders, I think, announced today it was growing at 18% far outstripping traditional media growth. So that's a good thing in that we're still in a growth industry, maybe not at the 30, 40, 50 percent we're used to, but maybe we've reached a maturity and hence these things start to slow down. We seem to probably be the most immune to the crisis, but uh, I say that touching wood uh, rather than knowing or having any further knowledge, but I certainly think this industry has got a, a lot of growth in it. And I think if we concentrate on where the money is and where the audience is, we will solve it and we'll get through the next two or three years that probably are going to be the hard next chunk of the crisis. Well, this event, the AOP event, actually looking through the cast list of people who are speaking is probably one of the best I've seen in a long time, from Clay Shirky from the US to uh, some of the digital pioneers I sat on a, a panel with through to Sly Bailey. I think we come here to be inspired maybe get some hints of what the future lies but I think it's all about the networking at these types of events and uh, I'm pleased that the AOP uh, are probably hoping to do more events across the year because we've got to learn from each other although we're competitors in many ways probably the only way the market will grow properly is to understand and possibly even work with some of our competitors. The only pearl of wisdom I could add uh, as much as anything is uh, understand the youth of today. They're going to be the guys in 10 years' time with the disposable income. They may not follow the traditional route of reading magazines, watching television, and they are surfing the net, using their mobile phones. And are, do they want the content that we provide them with today, or are they actually more interested in talking to each other, and how do we harness that?